Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to install Google Gemini on our front end using React. And if you end up using Next.js, these tutorials will work for that as well. So first, I want to tell you a little bit about what we will be creating as this tutorial keeps going. And that is we are going to be communicating with our Google Gemini AI using a chat feature that we will create ourselves. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to install everything and set everything up. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to go forward, creating the chat and adding other features to it. So let's get started. So first to install Google Gemini, you need to install a package called called Google Gen AI. So to install that, just type in the command npm i at Google slash Gen AI. OK that's it press enter and while this is installing I'm going to show you how to get our Google Gemini API key okay so this is what we will be creating as the tutorial moves forward for now this is placeholder text so now I'm going to show you how to get your Google Gemini API key so go into Google okay type in Gemini API key okay and it's this option right here the AI studio.google.com app API key and you need to be logged into your Google account okay so I'm gonna open this so here you will see that we can create a API key okay so click on create API key then you need to select one of the projects okay I'm gonna be using this one and if you do not have a project it will just prompt you to create one okay so after you have selected one of the projects just click on create API key in existing project okay I'm not gonna create another API key I already have one okay so I'm just gonna grab this one I'm gonna copy it close this I'm gonna go back into my application and this is still installing create a dot env file okay so now since you are using Vite, what you need to do is add in feet underscore Google Gemini PI key actually you know what I'm gonna shorten this I'm gonna say Gemini API key okay you do need to add V okay this is important if you are using V okay so then equal to and then just add in the key I'm not gonna show you my key obviously but after this you just need to save it okay and then you need to import this in so I'm just gonna start my server first and while that is running I'm going to import in my API key so I'm gonna create constant API key and I'm gonna put in import dot meta dot env dot and then vt gemini api key okay and just to make sure that we ended up getting this I'm gonna console log this so I'm gonna save this so the application is refreshing and as you can see we are getting the API key okay clear this and since we are getting our API key now we need to connect to Google Gemini okay and send a prompt to it and get a response back from it so what I'm gonna do is since I ended up installing Gen AI into this I'm going to import that in so I need from Gen AI the Google Gen AI okay and in this I am just going to pass in my API key okay like this so now I need to get the data from this so I'm going to make this a variable and I'm gonna call this AI okay and from this I want to define a few things for this first so what I can do I have a submit message function okay that is triggered whenever I click the button which is this button right here okay so what I'm gonna do with this is in here I'm going to do constant response is equal to the AI 
dot models dot let's do generate content okay there are a lot of other things you can do but I'm gonna show you generate content first okay so this will be a small tutorial so next I need to set some things up like which model do we want to use I'm gonna use model okay and I would recommend using the Gemini 2.0 flash okay you can use the 2.5 version as well but I would recommend for testing purposes use the 2.0 flash version the reason being that you have a lot of tokens to use for free when it comes to the 2.0 flash I think for the 2.5 you have like 25 requests per day but with the 2.0 you have 1500 requests you can make I know it's an older version but you can just make more requests using this so it's good for testing purposes so next you can pass in some data to it okay and there are other options that you can pass in as well I'll show you in other tutorials when we create the chat functionality and pass in documents and other things like that but for now I'm gonna pass in contents okay and this is basically our prompt what we are going to pass in. so for now I will pass in something And I'm also going to add keep this under let's say 200 words okay so now I'm going to get a response back so I'm going to console log the response because I need to show you how to do all of the functionality to create things like this like saving this and then showing the response using this one right here okay so I'm just going to console log this and I'm gonna get the response back and this is going to contain text I think yeah it's gonna be text so I'm gonna save this and I am going to let it refresh now I'm gonna send a request and I'm gonna get the console log here for that yeah it gave me a whole story and I'm assuming it is under 200 words okay so this is how you add Google Gemini to your front end and how you can communicate with it in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to add the streaming text effect and also add our message here and get the response here with the streaming text effect so this is it for this tutorial I hope you liked it like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.